And now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about responding to God's message and His messenger. And someone might ask the question, How can I tell if someone is God's true messenger? While the religious leaders who heard John the Baptist and Jesus rejected the greatest messengers of all, it is clear they were blinded by their own pride and therefore would never recognize God's Messiah, no matter how many miracles he performed before them. Showmanship and miracle working are not God's preferred method of convincing people, for people will easily argue against such signs and wonders. God will normally speak to us through his word. God prefers that we listen to his word, and this is unchanging and can be referred to over and over again. A true messenger of God will always emphasize the importance of God's word and seek to faithfully and accurately share it, over and above trying to perform signs. Another important way we can tell if someone is God's true messenger is to consider their attitude about and their use of money. Many so-called men of God are nothing more than crooks stealing money from the poor. Christianity was never instituted to make preachers rich, but to bring souls to God. When you meet a man whose goal is to reach and help people with the love of God, and any money he has is simply used for that purpose, it reveals that he is seeking the honor of God and not the honor of men. With this in mind, just think of what the man of God in question wears for clothing, drives as a vehicle, or lives in as a home. Do you see evidence of sacrifice for the work of God? Or is he living for self and his own comfort and pleasure? This can quickly help to determine whether the man is serving God or money. Jesus said that you cannot serve God and money, for you will hate the one and love the other. A true messenger of God will emphasize the Lord Jesus and not himself. Some signboards in front of churches seem to glory in man, and exalt the fame of man rather than draw attention to Jesus. Glory belongs to God, and men that steal God's glory are likely not the true messengers of God. I think the greatest thing to look for in a messenger of God is how well he handles the word of God. If a man has clearly invested his time into careful study of the word, and uses that knowledge to serve the body of Christ and bring glory to Jesus and not man, then the people of God will flock to listen to him, for they know that he is teaching God's word sincerely and not for wrong motives. Ask yourself, if the messenger that you are listening to resembles the Lord Jesus in his character, in his lifestyle, and in his teaching, if he acts proud, lives in luxury, and teaches self-improvement rather than repentance of sin, then he is not God's messenger, and you should look for a better shepherd to follow and learn from. Jesus said, Learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. Matthew chapter 11, verse 29.